Good morning. Welcome to this new course which will be called Understanding and Reducing Greenhouse Gas Emissions where we will be focusing on scope 1 and 2 emission reductions through building design and construction. I am your course instructor, Professor Avlokita Agrawal. I am an Associate Professor at Department of Architecture and Planning at IIT Roorkee. I am basically an architect but I mainly deal within the larger umbrella of sustainability and sustainable built environment. So a couple of courses that I have done previously, they were directly based upon the uh, sustainable development targets, say sustainable architecture. So that is what we were mainly dealing with. But in this particular course, we are specifically dealing with understanding the greenhouse gas emissions. Now before we dive deep into understanding this concept of greenhouse gas emissions and then further understanding what are scope 1 and 2 emissions and then trying to reduce it. The first thing that we have to understand is that while we are talking about sustainability at large, why at all and from where did we start discussing greenhouse gas emissions and the general understanding which we have formed so far over the years is that the climatic problems, the climate change related problems that are increasing day by day, the severity as well as the frequency of these extreme events and also problems which are subsequently giving rise to many other problems, for example, global warming, which is further causing a lot of distress across the world. Social problems, economic problems, environmental problems are anyways evident. Majority of this, as scientists have almost concluded and they have come to a consensus is it is happening because of excessive combustion of conventional fuel and which is what leading to greenhouse gas emissions, emissions of gases and we will understand what these gases do and you all know probably what is greenhouse gas phenomena. So we are almost, we have concluded that greenhouse gas emissions are responsible for a lot of this havoc which is happening currently on earth and it is going to grow further as greenhouse gas emissions are also growing day by day. The world has come to this consensus and so the world has also come to agree to reduce these greenhouse gas emissions if we want a sustainable future for ourselves, ourselves in the sense the entire human race. So collectively different countries have agreed to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions so much so that countries like India and many others have set a target to become net zero emission by certain years. So India has agreed that we will become net zero emission by 2070 and all major countries, big countries across the world have agreed to reach a net zero emission target. Now how do we achieve that target? And it is not that the country will do it. All smaller entities within the country will have to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and which is what all the companies are trying, they are working on it. How will they reduce the greenhouse gas emissions? What are their greenhouse gas emissions currently? So when they say net zero emission, what does it require? This is what we are trying to understand through this particular lecture. Now when we will go deeper, we will understand that there are three scopes of emissions as clearly defined in greenhouse gas protocol. So when we talk about greenhouse gas emissions, we are talking about greenhouse gas protocol. Now here we will understand what this scope 1, 2 and 3 are, but we will take forward only discussion on scope 1 and 2 emission reduction and how can we do that and in particular how building design and construction helps us in reducing the scope 1 and 2 emissions. And we will take examples of different industries, different types of companies and understand that what would building design and construction mean for them and how they can impact the scope 1 and 2 emission reduction. This is what we are going to broadly cover under this subject and this is going to be an 8 week course. Each week you will have 5 lectures covering different aspects starting from the history of discussions on sustainable development going all the way to calculation of scope 1 and 2 emission reductions and 
in between understanding what contributes to it and how can we reduce it. So this is what we are going to study in this particular course. If you are interested in knowing about these concepts and, and this entire discussion, then I would welcome you to join this particular course. So hope to see you in this course when it starts in August. Thank you very much. See you in my lectures.